and welcome to another episode of Rate My Cigar. So tonight we're doing uh, one of our general health videos again, uh, just going through the comments from the last sort of week or so, a uh, couple of weeks actually. And uh, yeah, basically just gonna go through some of the comments which you guys have uh, kindly put on our videos. We're also gonna be talking about uh, some shorts we've got here as well. We've got a few packets of different shorts, some Monte Cristos, some Partagas, I'm just gonna show you, just gonna show you guys actually on the video. I take that back, not Cohiba, another packet of Monte Cristo. Do you know I've actually smoked the, smoked the Cohiba already. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. There we go. So um, we're gonna do a video in a minute of the basically showing you guys these and we're going to be trying one. Um, I'll tell you what, let's put that there. Um, They're quite cool little packets actually, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I've Come with a lighter. Yeah. Branded lighter. Very cool. And uh, yeah. See, I've had those before. I like them. I haven't had those. I like I them. haven't had those and I haven't had those. Well, I've had them and I like them. I know you've had them because yeah. you've had them, them off me. And you like them, didn't you? I bought some last time I was away as well. I think all a couple of times ago. So how come you didn't bring them over to share them around? I'm not really a short person anymore. You are. <laughs> you are short. Um, but anyway, that's that there is what we're going to be uh, doing in the next video. <coughs> so uh, let's just get on and look at you guys' uh, questions. So um, the first comment on here. Bit of a controversial one, uh, and I've actually, well, I say I have, we actually made just a, video done a video based on this comment uh, because we both didn't agree with it. And we've actually done a proper video on this. So, Captain Mouse, if you're watching, uh, obviously, thank you for your comment. But if you watch the last video uh, of where we've gone through, it's based like a tasting note video, so we're explaining about what you're tasting, how, why, and stuff like that. Uh, Basically a video about kind of how you're wrong, but <laughs> in the nicest way possible. <laughs> well, they, at the end of the day, that's his opinion. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah course, Everyone's in types of their own opinion. And everyone's different. Um, everyone's you know, different. And I get lots of people telling me stuff that they're wrong about. Yeah. So basically, I'm joking. This, this, I'm joking. One, this, one's, pre this one's pretty wrong, but... <laughs> well, no, that's, that's just his opinion. No, um, I'm, I'm in for his leg. But uh, yeah, so what was that? What so did he this say? was on the best value budget cigar Cuban videos uh, 2024, and this was a Florida Rafael Gonzalez Corona. Now, I will just state before I go into this comment if you've tried one of those cigars and you didn't get the flavour of honey, I would be extremely shocked because I think it's pretty. Well, it depends if, it's, if, it's, if their palate's not developed, <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not going to taste it. For sure. So basically, Captain Mouse said. Lads, you should watch Salta cigar videos. Um, Lawrence has been smoking cigars since the 80s and never ever mentions notes. It's phony. There's no such thing as notes. Cigars are either mild, medium or strong. Followed up with wise up, lads. So Can I just, I just thought something off, off the bat, literally, after on. listen to that. Um, if you go on to any, any place that sells cigars, and I don't mean... A corner shop I mean a cigar shop like um, I tell you what give me a Cuban cigar quickly just name a Cuban uh, cigar Florida Rafael Gonzalez oh, I can't I can't spell that quick enough so <laughs> but yeah basically I mean I'll go into it a little bit and um, so the Salta cigar videos uh, and Lawrence now I haven't actually watched any of his videos um, uh, obviously f respect to Garfield's been smoking since the 80s that is a long time um, <coughs> I would never say that cigar notes are phony. Um, now, again, if your palate isn't massively developed, like I'm not saying his isn't, for, I will just put it out, I'm not saying Lawrence's is not developed at all, but certain people, if they haven't got a very developed palate, will just smoke a cigar, a bit like when I first started smoking cigars, and they'll just be like, oh, it's got some flavors in there. You don't know what it is. It's either mild, medium, or strong. Totally get that, I totally get that. But as I've gone through my cigar journey personally, the more I've smoked over a longer period of time, you automatically start, your brain will link flavors or notes you get through the nose to uh, flavors which you've noticed in the past or smells you've noticed in the past. It's a bit like barnyard, like if you smell a cigar before you've lit it, some cigars smell like barnyardy and that's not a flavor you've ever had, but you might have smelt a mm. barnyard or something like that and it just reminds you of that smell. 
and like to say there isn't flavors in a cigar well, i think it's pretty crazy well uh, look, like, at, look at it like this right havana house right yeah. that sells cigars i mean they sell a d4 that's a particast d4 and right here the d4 robusto is one of the top selling uh, cigars strong full bodied bodied um wood and spice in equal doses hmm. well i'm that that's that was me just searching a part of gas cigar and i pulled it up um now a d4 there is spice there is wood caramel so, I'm just gonna say there's a bit of caramel yeah, there definitely um but i bet you if i searched up the d4 and i found on a proper site there would be caramel somebody would be saying yeah or like cigar reviews and the, yeah. the way i look at it like is if you get a panel of cigar experts right people who are used to reviewing cigars a bit like we do like obviously not i'm not saying we're professional but i mean like far you from get, professional yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a panel of people we're literally we we're just two guys love smoking cigars that enjoy talking to a camera and having having a laugh that's all we that's all we are but now, professionals if, 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 you, if you get 10 people right and all these 10 people who are individual to each other on different sites doing their own individual reviews are all saying i can taste cedar in this cigar effectively you're saying all of them are wrong like if, if enough people are noticing it then that means they're noticing that flavor surely and like personally like if you go and get a box of cigars which is a cedar box you smell the box it smells like cedar right you open the box it smells like cedar there's a cedar slip inside you take the cigar out some cigars as soon as you start smoking them you automatically get it's just brain explosion of cedar you do some i mean they're like the melanio we've just smoked now the olivia um, just earthy 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 that was just earth and wood it was like yeah. not cedar wood and it was just it was completely different to another cigar but that was just that was quite a strong cigar um, but I've had other strong cigars that have got really nice cedar in. So that's two strong cigars, but there's different flavours of wood there straight away. Yeah, for sure. You know? So, yeah, I think, like, yeah, cigars are mild, medium, or strong. I have a look at the video. say that they're not. Have a look at the video we've just done on um, how to... Um, we haven't even called it anything yet. How to... Um, taste cigars taste the flavor in cigars and when you sit when you look that video <clears throat> open your mind yeah. um you know everyone's different we've just said how what's worked for us um you know we've explained like what a what a flavor wheel is that could help you guys uh, but <clears throat> yeah that's it really the thing is if cigars <coughs> were only mild medium or strong they'd all taste the same in either weak to strong which they don't there's such a broad range of flavors in cigars that i think it's impossible to say they're just mild medium or strong no they're, they're it's, not exactly it's crazy they're absolutely not. crazy but yeah so but yeah. i'll tell you one thing what is interesting is sometimes if i'm around somebody and they're smoking a normal cigarette i'll pinch a cigarette off them and i'll smoke it but when i smoke a cigarette i don't get anything from it apart from tobacco yeah, like rough, like chemically tobacco, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just not a cigar. So if the flavours weren't there and that's tobacco, yeah, fair enough, that's full of chemicals and cyanide and God knows what else probably. <laughs> but I would at least get some notes there. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. But I don't because it's a different type of thing. But yeah, let's just uh, see yeah. what else we got on. Um, so yeah, we'll wrap that one up there. Um, so the next one, uh, Rare Cigar Ezrazar Melted Chocolate Ice Cream. Now this was one which I actually really, really enjoyed and I was gutted that I only had one and will probably only have ever have one because that was a superb cigar. Uh, even though it was a really dark cigar and I'm not really a dark cigar person, it was beautiful. Um, now this was from John Wayne and he said, I'm blessed to live in the US and I pick up a lot of the dessert limited releases. Almost everyone has been bang on flavor wise and complex. I think they source very rare and limited aged tobaccos that limits their total releases. I mm, save I the do. few that I have left on each run. Yeah. So yeah, basically I uh, couldn't agree with that more. Um, basically I, I, Ezra Zion are a proper boutique cigar mm. manufacturer. Now a lot of the time they do use very aged and like mm. special old uh, tobaccos and everyone i've tried so far has been really 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 good really good and obviously it's like you say the reason there isn't many of each one is because they'll use like 
a crop from mm. God knows how long ago, and there's only so much tobacco, mm. and it's it's a shame because like some well, what of them they, are real. What nice. they do is they buy all these different, let's just say bundles of tobacco, and these are obviously not little bundles. Um, they're like, <laughs> probably a lot, yeah. <laughs> they're big bundles, but they buy these big bundles, and what they do is they 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 put them all together, produce this cigar. Now, once that bundle's gone, they can't buy any more. And if they do buy more, it's a later crop and it will be different. So that's why they only do a certain amount of cigars and it's a limited release. Yeah, which is, as I say, is a shame. So if you haven't tried Ezra's Island cigars, I definitely recommend trying some of their line. Now, they're, they're a bit sporadic in when they release stuff. So just basically just keep an eye on the website or keep an eye on the news online. And like eventually you'll get some, but yeah, de definitely worth a shout. And also, John, I'm massively jealous that you live in America as well because cigars are so cheap out there. So are guns. So yeah, and guns as well. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, basically, <laughs> basically, everything that we're not allowed here, you can do over there. Yeah, it's pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of America. Um, so next one, uh, best value budget Cuban cigar 2024. Ah, the, the Rafael Gonzalez again. This is from uh, Jonathan Stiewal, and he said, I've had a box of Humidor since November 2023. Looking forward to trying them soon. Thanks for another great review, guys. More than welcome, mate. Um, what I would say is, uh, I'm guessing you're aging them by that comment. I'm not sure. But if you are, do yourself a favour. At least just have one now so you know what they're like before they've got a load of age on them. Because uh, I say, even as a young cigar, they still smoke really, really well. And uh, yeah, they're, to be honest, they're, they're one of my favourite smaller cigars. <coughs> Um, same video again, this is from uh, Howard G 69 Had this very recently and loved it. Unfortunately, quite difficult to get your hands on a box now. Yeah, unfortunately. I'd say, abroad, there's still quite a lot of them. Um, I know from going on holiday, as I go away fairly often. Well, um, you need to, you're, you're wrong. You need to go you're in the right, right places. Yes, but you're wrong. The reason being is what happens is, now it, what Cuba are doing, this is what I understand, and this is from what I've seen, and from what I've had people say that run the shops, what they will do is they will say, right, this box of cigar is available now. They'll have, they'll have vast quantities of this and they will just shower all the shops with this box of cigars. Yeah. Now, once that runs out, they will have a different cigar and shower with that one. Yeah. And that's what they do. So and it's worth mentioning, I actually found out earlier today, they have got them for sale in the UK now as well, in the UK yeah. shops. Yeah, they're because 20 I was something. chatting to a guy at work and uh, he was saying about what he should, because he smokes cigars as well. And he said, uh, he said he was thinking of having another cigar. I said, oh, so I'll tell you what you really like. I said, the uh, Flor Rafael Gonzalez, uh, Corona's de Lonsdale. Yeah, on Cigars. And uh, I said to him, I said, oh, I'll show you one online. And I went on Google and it automatically came up. And I was like, they're in the UK. I was like, what? Mm. And I clicked on them. They're about 32, I think it was 32 pounds I saw them. 32? On, yeah, it was either on Cigars or they are available on the other cigars. side. Yeah. I know they are. So. Because somebody mentions that later ah, in the comments. Yeah, funny enough, someone's putting that 28 quid on the Seagulls. That was two days ago. Well, they're, they're more on there now because I looked at them today, 32. So I don't know if they're putting the price up or if it's on a different site, maybe. Have a quick look. I can't remember which site it was I looked on. But yeah, um, yeah. I, so thought they were, can, I thought they were like 20 quid. If you can get your hands on them, just buy a load of them because at the end of the day, like, like with all cigars, once they've run out, they're only going to go up in price. And you might as well get them and just hold on to them. Like, yeah, I'd definitely try and get some if you can. Um, same video again, this is from Ilianita. Uh, I'll order a box tomorrow, wise choice. <laughs> um, and then, like I just said, this is from uh, Stupo Head, uh, 28 quid on cigars. Now again, I say I'm pretty sure it's got 32, but yeah, just check, but you say you can buy them in the UK, so whilst you can, grab some, definitely. Definitely worth it in my opinion. Very, very good cigar to have like for coffee if you like coffee. Um, Another one for the same video. Uh, ah, I am Geo sixty nine yet again. <laughs> it's like a serial commenter. When, when you next comment, put down what your actual name is. I'm curious. <laughs> if you're just your first name's fine, but uh, I tried the Lonsdales and Petite Corona, both enjoyable. Looking to buy some more. Well, as we just said to you, uh, check Cigars out because they are on. I think mm. it's Cigars. I know they're on there, and there's another site in the UK which sells them as well. So, yeah, definitely worth stocking up on those. Same video again uh, from Gilbert saying, interesting, I have a box from 2022. It's a spicy chocolate-like cigar, a mix on the Monte Cristo and Partagas. I guess the newer ones are milder and creamy. Yeah, um, <coughs> I didn't even, did they come out in 2022? I actually don't know. I, I can't really answer that bit, but yeah. Well, they must be out at least like, before then. <sighs> with them, I think like they, they've got an air, like a, an yeah, air yeah, a couple spice of months there, with... but... We, the boxes we picked up have had a couple of months on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but They're fresh boxes for sure. But they've only just got come into the UK from what we understand because 
we've only just seen them for sale. They could have been for sale beforehand and not been available, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, next one, this is from Ben Sanford saying, "I'll have one off you next time I'm round." Oh, ben. oh that's Ben. <laughs> Hello, Ben. <laughs> we'll chop it in half, ready for when you arrive. <laughs> um, same video again uh, from Yara. Uh, Stub the gar. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I always do it, and everyone always tells me off for it, but I do it every time. And if you look down, I've actually done it again as well. So I just thought I'd point out there. <laughs> It frustrates Darren every time I do it. And you Maybe that's why I keep doing it. And you drop it all over the place. I do, yeah. That's, a, that's normally the sign of good conversation, so it's all good. <laughs> um, same, video again, uh, so yeah, same video again from uh, Beeble Noise. Again, another name recognised. Uh, impossible to find a box. I thankfully have a couple left still. I will keep hunting. Again, if you're watching, get on uh, the UK sites. They are on there. Um, same video again. So it's been quite a hit this video actually. There's been a lot of comments on this. Mm. Uh, this is from Monkey uh, <coughs> saying, I bought four boxes at about $180 US. I like. Shit, that's wow. Cheap. I like the review. Jesus. Uh, another reviewer did. So I'd, I'd like to get the first release since I believe they're done with more attention to the blending construction. Why? They want to get positive experiences to boost sales. Not disappointed mm. with my four box choice, although some are loosely placed with. Uh, with a wind tunnel draw which most including myself do not appreciate agreed with bang for buck now thankfully i know for a fact from smoking others i bought the draw is perfect on them so maybe i've got I've, lucky with mine <clears throat> i don't know well i've had a couple out of my box and they're good yeah and those boxes were bought a month or two apart and from different shops so yeah. i think the other thing as well it massively depends on who's rolled the <coughs> cigars in the factory because like through Just every watch. factory you'll have like rows and rows of people rolling some will be great, some won't be so great. Like so, just be careful. Sort of just be careful really. you don't get a cigar rolled by John because he's um, he's never good. Oh, terrible. Yeah, yeah, whoever that is. <laughs> uh, oh, another one from the same video again. Uh, this is from Kevin Senior. It says, uh, "Cheers, lads. I totally agree. The UK tax is the f something k out of us. It's just crazy. I really feel for UK retailers. Personally, I buy my Cubans in Belgium, where prices are roughly 33% of UK prices. Wow, excluding Cohiba and Trinidad. I am told Spain has a law which dictates retailers can only price the cigars at 10% over the price they paid for them. That's really interesting. I never knew that." If so, this explains why Spain is so cheap, which is good for us. On the flip side, they have zero incentive to age a cigar, so don't expect anything spectacular there. I recently smoked a few Gonzales Petite Coronas, so I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Well, I will say one thing about that comment. <clears throat> he said Trinidad and Cuba. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I've actually been <clears throat> looking for some Siglo 6s <clears throat> and some uh, Maduro 5s. Now, <laughs> They are literally uh, just under 10% cheaper. I think it's like 8% from technical than buying them in the UK. Right. In Spain and Belgium and Germany. So this is the thing, like, although Spain is cheap, it's not as cheap as other places in Europe, I don't think. Like, don't be wrong, the prices are really good, but any, anywhere is normally pretty good compared to the UK. But, like, there are other cheaper places, like maybe but Switzerland and places like that. Swiss, Switzerland, it's only very slightly cheaper. Yeah. But if you're... You're not, you're not talking about a lot in it, but, like, there's yeah. a little bit of difference, yeah. Um, yeah, it's... I don't know. It's it's just... They're, they're going up quicker than they should be, in my opinion. Oh, for sure, Yeah. You know? they're, they're already way over where they should be in my opinion but hey well for a rolled up for a rolled up bunch of leaves, leaves yeah <laughs> my favorite phrase um so same guy from kevin again uh, on a different video which is the choice supreme uh, thanks i must try one preferably brought in europe <laughs> yeah absolutely definitely good cigar definitely those. yeah they're really really nice very nutty mm -hmm. tasty flavors i do I like bought, those a lot i did buy a box of those and i think i'm <clears throat> I think I've probably done about six out of that box since that video. Wow. Um, and I'm picking the, that over pretty much a lot of good cigars, so it's good. Yeah. So next one, uh, on the Partigas 2020 E2 uh, unboxing, this is from Epsi. Uh, exceptional cigar, smoked a few, it's on my top three of all time. Was able to buy a box of 25 a week ago in France. Now I have to be disciplined not to smoke too much of it and let them age a few years to be even better. Um, I've got some which are from 2019, I think it is. Got five when I was in, I think it was Greece, I think where I bought them. I was on the way back from holiday and um, 
went in the airport and they had, they had a, a load of boxes in there and they're, they're super, super cheap. And this is obviously before the price rise came in. And uh, I looked at the box and it was like three years aged on it. And I was like, amazing. So I bought them and uh, I've still got, I haven't touched them yet. They're still sat in my humidor. So they've got like a good five years of age on them now. So it should be pretty decent. But yeah, if you can let them age, definitely do it. And uh, <laughs> this is a good comment. You'll like this, Darren. This is from Zach White. Uh, part one cigar herf Q and A interacts with our fans. Chuck, mate, you and that bloody ash. I don't know how Darren puts up with it. He must have the patience of a saint. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Basically, every video, uh, you're pretty much guaranteed I'm going to drop it on the table at some stage. So I'm glad we got a table. It's not just the floor, though. To be fair, it could be worse. <laughs> um, <clears throat> ah, so one of my favourite cigars, uh, H. Upman Magnum Fifty Four Age Cuban Cigar Review uh, from IMG Sixty Nine again. My previous experience with Upman's are half Kronos and Majestics. Recently got eight sticks of the 54 and 246 on my recent trip to Granada. Still rest them at the moment, thanks for the review. If I'm honest, <clears throat> the 46 is nowhere near as good as the 54. Completely agree. But yeah. you haven't had a 46, you've had a 50. No, I've had one of smaller ones as well. No. 100%. A, 40, a 46 isn't smaller. No. Uh, smaller ring gauge it is, yeah. Slightly you must longer. have had that when... Yeah, <coughs> it was when a while ago, yeah. But yeah. yeah. That yeah, I don't think they're as good as the fifty four. That's for certain. The fifty fours, mm -hmm. in my opinion, are one of the better Upmans. I think, but yeah, yeah, definitely give that a bash. I think you'll really like those, to be honest. Um, H Upman Magnum fifty four again. This is from Rob uh, Robo. Uh, Do you guys retro hell? I've tried so many times, but I just can't get it. Uh, <laughs> well, the interesting thing is, this is one of Darren's pet peeves because, like, right. until recently, Darren's been exactly the same boat. Um, I retro hell all the time because uh, in my opinion, I think you get like at least 50, 60% more flavor come out of the cigar. Um, so yeah, if you can't get it, I'm trying to think the best way to describe it. Like, you know if you can like click your tongue on the back of your mouth, as you click it, it goes down. If you do that and hold it down whilst the smoke's in your mouth and then just breathe out through your nose normally whilst keeping your mouth shut, you'll notice it will naturally come out. So it's, it's all about keeping your tongue down from the back of your mouth. If you can do that, you'll nail it really quickly. So yeah. Keep practicing, you will eventually get it. Um, and again, on the same comment, someone actually sub on it. It's just retro gaming saying, chew the smoke and you will retro hell. Just get it in your mouth and start chewing motion with your mouth. I'll tell you closed. what, after we've done these, we're going to do a video for retro hell. We're just going to do one video for retro hell. So look out for that video. <coughs> um, <coughs> next comment, Magnum 54 again. Uh, this is from Palmer Cigar. Let me make a few predictions. Woody, spice, oh, pepper, just, yeah. chocolate, cedar. These are essentially the basis of all of these lads reviews. Kidding, but no one but themselves. Oh. In fact, you're wrong, because someone actually commented underneath saying we also said citrus, so you're not quite spot on with that. But yeah, um, it's a shame, like I say, that people have got to put these like snarky comments on there. Like At the end of the day, like yes, it's the basis of some cigars, but if you say it's the basis of all cigars, then your palate is really poor, basically. Palmer cigars. Palmer cigars, yeah. But if, if, if that's your view on like all the reviews then you're completely wrong basically um there's way more at the end of the day we've been doing mostly like cubans like a lot of cubans uh, have fairly similar profiles with them obviously you get different flavors of them as well but yeah um like i say a shame people have got to be snidey but if that's what makes you happy then fair play mm. to you <laughs> um so yeah someone back to some of these brian o'leary said now nah, they said citrus so yeah thank you <laughs> uh part seven cigar herf q a uh, Christian Norris said, if you could choose four Cuban macros to cover as much of the flavour wheel as possible, which four would you choose to get a good variety of flavours and strengths? If I could choose four, I would probably go realistically I think he with... means like one, two, three, four, doesn't he? <sighs> or does he mean actually... If you're, if you're talking about four individual flavours, um, my first two straight away would be cream and cedar. Absolutely, definitely. Um, you tend to you get, get some. You, 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 used to, you used to get nuts with the with the or some sort of like nut, or even if it's the problem. It's a really, really hard thing to say because, like, whilst there. So if you go with the Hoyle de Montres, a lot of them you get hay or grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hay, grass. But when you go cream, to Partagas, it's more the different types of wood. Yep. Um, Couldn't agree more. Yeah, yeah, it depends on what you're smoking. It, it really, really does. Like, for instance, if you put like a Choi Supreme up against like an Epi Two, 
there's a massive, massive difference between the even two flavour profiles. Even so, like, though both of them are uh, medium to light, yeah, and they're a, they're a quite a, a creamy, sweet stick in in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, they're completely different. Yeah, for sure. Um, if I had to choose four, I think it would be like uh, cream, cedar, uh, like a maybe like an almondy cashew because like some of them have got like a sort of like a sweeter or a slightly more uh duller nut flavor to them mm. and uh yeah, that's other that, then. yeah i know I'm, I'm just thinking of the fourth one like in reality like maybe like hay as well like they've got like the lighter flavors like it's basically so a lot a lot of the cubans uh they're a lot of like the good cubans are grown in the vuelta tobacco region and like uh it's basically it's the, the soil is what actually gives the plant the flavors so like depending on where the plants are grown you can get two of the same plants which are grown in different locations which will have totally different flavors just because the minerals and what is actually in the soil will be different in the two places so like mm. you can't it's it's very hard to say four individual flavors mm. but if i had to go with them that's probably what i go with yeah see i would, i couldn't go with four i'd have to go with three and the other one would be a wild flavor yeah. because it, <laughs> I've, I've no idea because i think i think it's more that you got wood You've got you've got the the nut spectrum, and then you've got the, the type of creaminess with it, where which again varies. Yeah, because it sometimes it's like the caramel cream, yeah, or or it's the milky cream, but yeah. it's still a type well, sometimes of cream. It's the thick cream, cream, and yeah. But the but when we say thick cream, if you if somebody didn't have if you couldn't go to you couldn't go to Tesco's or supermarket and buy some thick cream and go. Oh, it tastes just like that because it doesn't no. but it's just like it's like the mouth feel it's like more than yes, mouth feel yeah it. it's very yeah. it's very hard to you know explain but again like with the uh the variety of strengths as well like again it depends like for instance like you've got your bolivars which are like normally at the top end of like bold like bold cuban flavors and then you've got like your lighter stuff down the bottom like there's it's, it's again it's just it's a bit like smoking new worlds like there's so much variety like realistically you just need to just try and try as much as possible and just like try and figure out what your favorite profiles are but yeah so yeah that's, that's quite a complex question so yeah thank you for that you've made my brain work <laughs> um on the same video again yes it is this is from ah uh, i've just ruined it hang on this is from smoko cigar uh, and he said let me just get back to it apologies for that uh, here we go. He said, uh, Diplomatico number two are around the same price. France is more expensive than Spain. If you're coming to Andorra as part of your trip, maybe I'll see you there. The Diplomatico Spanish regionals are amazing and impossible to find. Well, funny enough, on our board, uh, I think in best of all time, are they up there? Yes, they are, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've actually put the Diplo Spanish up in the best of all time. Uh, I personally love those cigars. I know Darren's very keen on them as well. So, yeah, uh, we actually did go to Andorra not that long ago. Uh, both of us went just for a road trip over there. It was, yeah, quite, quite a good little holiday it was, actually. But, yeah, those uh, Diplo Spanish are really hard to find. Like, if you can find them now in shops, don't even query it. Just pick them up, literally. Like, so it, it, they're getting the last, very hard. The last time I saw some for sale, I swear <clears throat> it was a shop in um i've said it on one of our videos i want to say ireland okay there was a there was a shop that had some sale in ireland um if i remember rightly and I oh think on on uh, google i think when we searched when you yeah. searched them up yeah i remember and they were horrendously like priced 35 pound something yeah. per stick um yeah it's madness yeah basically if, if you can find them absolutely snap well the up, shops sure. the shops actually run out last year so it's literally what everyone's got and what's in the shops have bought then they're going to resell at a higher price yeah like i say if we go mm. back to andorra again uh smoker cigar we'll put your message maybe go out for a smoke together definitely 